all through pre-season, probably had the biggest pre-season that I've um, had since starting an AFL career and um, yeah, everything was looking looking really good. Got a uh, NAB Cup round one out of the way and then everything from then has kind of been a bit, uh, bit of a bummer. In trouble but there's a whistle. I kind of hit a bit of a hurdle in the last few months so Injuring both ankles um, with the same injury, obviously the right one was pretty severe and um, a lot worse than the second one. Um, both being syndesmosis um, are quite, quite rare, well not rare, but you know, um, uncommon injuries. And um, yeah, to have had them, had them both on uh, either feet, either foot uh, in one year is pretty unlucky. But um, yeah, coming good now, and hopefully be out there in the next few weeks. When Shag first came to us, he said he was a quick healer, and we kind of were like, yeah, sure, sure, mate, sure. But he's been really good. He's uh, fast tracked his progression. He's been up and about. His running's been fantastic. Um, the way he moves with his football stuff um, has been real credit to him. Um, with his work with us as well as uh, in the gym and um, getting himself right for every session. Basically, we. Um with this sort of injury, we have a philosophy of running every second day. So, uh, and if he's going really well, then maybe uh, so we go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then maybe a little top-up run on the Friday, but uh, sorry, on the Saturday. But we then might um, go back to the Alter G treadmill, and then uh, topping up their conditioning with the swimming, the biking, so that they can handle the demands of you know, effectively two hours of running around is what uh, playing league footy demands. In the two and the quarter games that I played, I think I played all positions, um, maybe maybe bar ruck. So you know, um, I really enjoyed that, and um, you know, hopefully it's um, what I can keep offering for the rest of the year. And you know, I'm really looking forward to getting out there for the second half of the year, and um, yeah, hopefully John pulls me back out there. The initial initial transition back home has been was been has been really wonderful, and um, yeah, very very happy. Yeah, yeah. Transition was pretty pretty uh, seamless, I think, in as far as learning the game plan. But um, in saying that, there's always different terms and you know different different meanings for words and things like that. So you know that kind of thing, you've got to come to grips with. I remember asking um, Wusher one of the first training sessions. Um, he kept yelling out gearbox, and I remember asking, walking up to him and asking, "What's gearbox?" And he um, he was actually referring to one of the guys who helps out at training, so <laughs> I thought it was a term for a, for a uh, part of the ground, but no, it was just a guy who was helping out. <laughs> I think that if the boys can go out there and really uh, really get some confidence for the second half of the year, anything's possible, you know, getting a bit of consistency on the side that fields a team each week will be a massive bonus, and then um, you know the list we do have is extremely talented and extremely young, so not just this year but it's also in the next four or five years that the window's open and so you know when we get all these really talented players playing up to the 100, 100 game mark, 150 game mark, that's when we'll, we'll really be expecting to have a bit of on-field success I think.